Every day, silently, your arteries may be becoming narrower, and no one tells you about this during your checkup. The cholesterol test may be done, the medication prescribed, but the conversation about inflammation, belly fat, insulin resistance, and lifestyle almost never happens. And that's when many people discover the problem only after a scare, a blockage, chest pain, or a significantly abnormal test result. I am Edu Rodriguez, and today I want to show you five simple kitchen drinks that can help your body reduce inflammation, improve circulation, and protect your heart over time. It's not a miracle, not a magic recipe, and it doesn't replace medication or medical supervision. It's health education. Understanding how small daily choices can change what's happening inside your arteries before symptoms appear. Many people believe that a clogged artery is just bad genetics, age, or bad luck. Of course, genetics matter, age matters. But there is one factor that is the main conductor behind all of this, chronic inflammation. Inflammation in the vessel walls, fat inside the belly, high sugars circulating all day. It is this trio that prepares the ground for the fat plaque to form and grow. Therefore, when we talk about opening the arteries, it is not literally a drink melting fat inside. What these strategies do is reduce inflammation, improve vessel flexibility, help the body better handle sugar and fat, and over time, facilitate the body's own reorganization of that mess. It is a process, not a quick trick. Let's start with the first drink, which is almost a natural elixir for the arteries. The first is what I call pomegranate mixture for vascular repair. And here I am not talking about that sugary box juice mixed with other fruits. I am talking about pure pomegranate juice, without sugar in small quantities, as part of a healthier whole day. Pomegranate is a very interesting fruit because it is rich in compounds that help combat oxidative stress, which is that internal rusting caused by excess sugar, bad fats, smoking, stress, and so on. These compounds help reduce the most aggressive form of oxidized cholesterol, which is the one that most damages the walls of blood vessels. At the same time, pomegranate promotes the production of a substance that your own body makes, and that is essential for the arteries, nitric oxide. It is this substance that signals the vessel to relax, open a little, and allow blood to flow more easily. Practically, what does this mean? A more flexible artery, better circulation, less pressure on the walls, less chance of forming cracks where the fat plaque tends to settle. In studies with real people, with plaques in the carotid artery, small daily amounts of pomegranate juice over several months helped improve the thickness of the vessel wall and some inflammation markers. How can you use this in everyday life? A simple way is to take a small cup of pure pomegranate juice, about half a cup of cream cheese, fill it with water, squeeze a little lemon, and if you want, add a tablespoon of good quality apple cider vinegar. Doing this before the first meal can help give a positive metabolic shock, especially if the rest of the day involves better choices. And of course, if you have diabetes, kidney problems, or on medication, it's always worth talking to your doctor or nutritionist before adding anything new to your daily routine. The second drink will energize those who enjoy coffee. I know that many people wake up and go straight to the mug, sometimes along with bread, cake, or cookies. Today, I want you to start looking at this coffee differently. Good quality coffee, carefully selected, without excess sugar and not in large quantities, can be a great ally. When coffee comes from well-cared-for beans, it is rich in compounds that help improve the function of the inner layer of the arteries, that skin, inside the vessels. These compounds help increase the production of nitric oxide, may help reduce blood pressure in some people, improve insulin sensitivity, and in various studies, moderate consumption of good quality coffee has been associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes and some cardiovascular problems. Now, what many people are doing, and what makes sense for some, is turning this coffee into a more stable drink for the metabolism, combining it with a bit of healthy fat and a touch of quality salt. Instead of drinking coffee with white bread and margarine, for example, you can do the following. A good brewed coffee, without sugar, blended with a tablespoon of high-quality extra virgin olive oil, a small tablespoon of pasture-fed cow butter, and a pinch of more natural salt. Those that contain minerals, not just refined sodium chloride. Why might this be interesting? Because the combination of coffee with healthy fats tends to increase satiety, prevent hunger spikes, and help keep blood glucose more stable throughout the morning. Olive oil is a health ally for the vessels. 
good quality butter contains compounds that aid in the production of anti-inflammatory substances. And a small amount of salt helps replenish minerals that coffee itself may increase the elimination of. Of course, it's not about putting half a glass of fat into the coffee, nor for people with gallbladder problems or certain specific conditions to do so without guidance. But for many people, a well-made mug of this coffee without white bread, instead of that coffee with a filled cookie, is already a huge step for the heart and waist. The third drink seems like a dessert, but it is a strategy for the cardiovascular system, a kind of hot chocolate made with pure cocoa without sugar. True cocoa, the powder, bitter, without additives, is one of the most studied foods when it comes to circulation. It is very rich in compounds that help relax blood vessels, improve the function of the inner wall of arteries, slightly lower blood pressure in some people, reduce inflammation, and improve the fat profile in the blood. In studies with adults with circulation problems, drinks rich in pure cocoa improve the test that measures the artery's ability to dilate after a stimulus, and this is a direct sign of vascular health. How to incorporate this into your routine? You can heat water or a sugar-free plant-based milk, such as coconut milk or nut milk. Mix in a full teaspoon of pure cocoa powder, a pinch of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. If you need to sweeten it, use a little honey or a sweetener that doesn't spike your blood sugar. This can be a good option during transition. Drinking this at night, instead of a sugary chocolate drink, makes a big difference for your body. It provides compounds that help the arteries function better without adding more sugar to the fire. The fourth drink is a classic on the internet, but many people still don't use it correctly. A mixture of apple cider vinegar with water and cinnamon, the so-called metabolic shot before high-carb meals. When apple cider vinegar is the cloudy kind with the mother inside, it contains acids that help the body better handle the sugar from the meal. In several studies, taking a small amount diluted in water before eating helped reduce the glucose spike after the meal and, consequently, the insulin crash. Over time, this means less damage to the artery walls and less stimulus to store fat in the belly. Cinnamon acts as a partner because it also helps the body use insulin more effectively and can discreetly improve fasting glucose levels in some people. How to use A glass of water, one to two tablespoons of good quality apple cider vinegar, a little cinnamon, and if you like, a touch of lemon. Drink slowly before the meal richest in carbohydrates of the day. But here, an important caution. Those with stomach problems, gastritis, ulcers, serious kidney issues, or who take multiple medications should consult their doctor before using vinegar daily. Vinegar is not juice. It is acidic, and improper use can cause irritation instead of help. So, again, it is a tool, not a trend. The fifth drink is the famous golden milk, a mixture of turmeric with plant-based milk and other spices, which works almost like an anti-inflammatory hug for the body. Turmeric, that yellow powder widely used in Indian cuisine, contains an active substance that has been studied for years as one of the most potent allies against low-grade chronic inflammation. When we combine turmeric with a pinch of black pepper and a little healthy fat, such as a tablespoon of good quality butter or olive oil, the absorption of this substance increases significantly. And then the body gains another resource to reduce inflammation markers, alleviate some joint pains in certain people, and additionally, protect the vessel walls. Less long-term inflammation means fewer fissures, less chance of unstable plaque that could rupture. How to prepare? Warm a bit of coconut milk or another unsweetened plant-based milk. Mix in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a pinch of black pepper, a little ginger powder, a bit of cinnamon, and if you like, a small tablespoon of good quality butter or olive oil. Mix well and drink at night, after the last meal, as if it were a relaxing beverage. Many people report sleeping better, feeling less pain, and waking up lighter. Now, let me give a very important warning. Nothing I have said here replaces prescribed medication, tests, consultations, or follow-up with a cardiologist, general practitioner, endocrinologist, or nutritionist. These drinks are additional tools within a healthier lifestyle. If you continue smoking, sleeping poorly, eating ultra-processed foods daily, sitting all day, and believing that a glass of juice or golden milk will clean your arteries, you are being unfair to your own body. What truly makes a difference is the complete package, daily movement, eating real food, weight control, reasonable sleep, and stress management. 
The drinks I brought today can enhance and accelerate the benefits when incorporated into this context. If you already monitor your tests, a practical tip is the following. Talk to your doctor about these inflammation and metabolism markers. Ask about belly fat, fasting glucose, lipid profile, and blood pressure. Then choose one of these drinks to test for a few weeks, along with changes to your diet and routine, and then reassess. Don't treat blood tests on your own, okay? If this video helped you better understand what is happening inside your arteries and gave you simple ideas to start taking better care of your heart, brain, and circulation, now is the time to subscribe to the EDU Health Tips channel, leave your like, and share this content with someone you love. Sometimes, sharing a video like this is the nudge someone needs to schedule that appointment, swap soda for water, or cut back on sugar in their coffee. And I want to hear from you. Tell me in the comments which of these five drinks you find easiest to incorporate into your routine. Do you already use any of them? Have you noticed any difference? Your questions and experiences help me plan the next videos so we can continue building health together practically and feasibly. Thank you for staying with me so far. Remember that while you go about your day, your arteries are working silently without complaint. Taking care of them today is the smartest way to prevent surprises down the road. See you in the next video.